Here we're going to be looking at bad debt or uncollectible debt and we're going to be looking at a collection of an account that was previously written off here and we're going to be looking at both the direct write-off method, how we'd recover it using the direct write-off method here and how we'd recover it using the allowance method here. So let's start with our allowance method but before we get into our uh, recovery of this debt here let's first look at how it was originally written off here. So on one one or 115x2, we determined that there was a $4,000 bad debt. We have an in our accounts receivable here. We had accounts receivable for $4,000 from a particular customer here, and then we determined that it was no longer recoverable or it was bad debt. So we would have accredited our accounts receivable here for $4,000, and then our balancing or the debit amount here would go to the allowance for doubtful accounts here for $4,000. So we debit our allowance here for $4,000 and we would credit it or reduce our accounts receivable here for $4,000. Again, this allowance for doubtful accounts, that's a contra account to the accounts receivable. Now let's look at how we'd uh, recover this debt here uh, based on a, uh, a collection of account that was previously written off here and we'll look at the allowance method here. So this was originally written off here on 115x2 and now it was paid back here on 21x2. So with the allowance method here, if an account is written off or charged off is later collected here, two entries are required. Number one, an entry to reverse the original write-off of that account and number two, an entry to record the cash collection. So let's go look at our uh, uh, entries here. So number one here, our accounts receivable, we would have reversed our original write-off entry here by debiting our accounts receivable by $4,000 here and then the uh, credit would go to our allowance for doubtful accounts here. We'd increase that here by $4,000. And then the second entry here, we would have taken this accounts receivable that we increased here by $4,000 and we would have debit or credited that out here by $4,000. So we would have taken the debit amount here $4,000 and credit it here for $4,000 for the, re the receivable or the recovery of this debt and then the debit amount here would go to our cash account. We increase our cash account here by $4,000. So all of this transpired here on the balance sheet. Now let's go look at the direct write-off method here. Now before we go through our entries here to recover this debt here in a direct write-off, let's go and look at how the original how it was originally written off here so again we have this four thousand dollar specific amount here of debt that uh, we determined here that we had an accounts receivable that was no longer collectible. So we again we would credit our accounts receivable here for four thousand dollars and then the debit amount here had gone to our bad debt expense here on the income statement. We would debit that or increased it here for four thousand dollars. This is using the direct write-off method here and it didn't involve this allowance account or this contra account to accounts receivable. Now let's go and look at how we would recover this uh, a collection of the amount previously written off here again using the direct write-off method here. So uh, going down here we originally written it off here on 115x2 and now it was paid back here on 21x2. Same as uh, above there. So we've looked at above. So using the direct write-off method here if an account is written off or charged off is later collected the entry required here is just one entry the entry to record the cash collection so let's go up here we would have debited or increased our cash amount here on our balance sheet by four thousand dollars and then the crediting uh, credit entry here would go to the revenue account here on the income statement for four thousand dollars and that was would be a uh, the identified here as an uncollectible recovery here uh, as in a revenue account here in our income statement. So here we've looked at both the allowance method and the direct write-off method here for the collection of an account that was previously written off.